so he could put his hats on. God damn it. Pretty cool. much. No, no, we delayed because, of course, I had to manipulate Expo a little bit. But we're live now, ladies and gentlemen, and my voice is dead. But uh, I am, of course, Sal. I'm here with Sea Bear. We're doing Fully Charged, the TF2 podcast. What's up, Sea Bear? That's the best, dude. You're like, okay, we're live. I can't even talk. What's up, guys? It's, uh, it's good to be back. Sorry we missed the last two weeks. I was in the hospital for a little bit. Not on last Wednesday, but after. It's just it was bad, so we yeah. missed. But now we're here, so get over it, okay? Mm-hmm. And and this week to talk <laughs> about you know, land and stuff, we have our guests KBK, Sean Bud, and Master Chief. Hello. Master hey. Chief's a hard get, by the way. Yeah. But yeah, we have. Uh, yeah. We did what we was booked him. We booked him three weeks in advance, so. <laughs> He's dead. He's busy. Actually, wait. I don't. Aren't the the um. The Halo games, he's like dead now, isn't he? Did he die? No. No. Obviously, he's shaking his head at us, man. And of course, he doesn't have a voice. He, he can't talk. But he's, uh, actually, he does talk in the, the cinematic stuff. Anyway, he's, he's <laughs> definitely not dead in the canon. Pretty okay, sure. yes. So we had mix up on, what, three weeks ago? And we were going to do one team per week. But then we didn't do two weeks, so we're just going to mash them all together. Um, but yeah, these guys are probably leaving, what, Tag, you said you were leaving tomorrow? So, Friday. Right. Friday. That's right. Okay. Twitch John is the one who's leaving tomorrow. So I don't know. And Sean Bud, you and Z Brian are actually driving a car there somehow. Mm hmm. Is that yeah, We're leaving like Friday a... morning very early. Road trip. That's crazy. You guys have never met before? No, I met him last week. He was supposed oh. to. Well, okay. He wasn't supposed to, but I think he was thinking about coming over tonight to do uh, scrims at my place again. Uh, we did that one night last week. Last night. It was pretty. Or last week. It was pretty fun. I was going to say, Phil. was laying. Yeah. How jealous is Lang? Uh, I'm, I don't know. I wish Lang could have been here too. People, people in the stream chat want you to take a video of this road trip with you and Z, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what they want. Yes. Give viewers what they want, man. Stream the whole damn thing. Get an air card. How how tall <laughs> how tall how, how tall is Z, Brian? He's very tall. I've I'm like six. This. I'm like six one or so, and he's taller than me. He's like Whoa. two inches taller, I think. Whoa. Whoa. Your team is gonna be pretty pretty tall then. I don't know how tall Brad is, but I know Justin White's like six six. Yes, we are fully tall. So if it, if it breaks down to like a Counter Strike like fight, you guys are you guys are good. We got the reach advantage. <laughs> we got the reach advantage. <laughs> so your your knife will start stretch out a little further than this one could do in CS. Um, and then we have we have KBK who hasn't said anything. KBK on his laptop. What's up? Um, hey. And <laughs> so what are you? Doing? <laughs> You're not driving or anything, are you? You're from, you're from Minnesota, where I am, so that's too much of a drive. Yeah, I'm actually in North Dakota in college, so okay. I'm not flying from here. I'm actually going to drive back to Minnesota, which is like a three-hour car ride, and then fly from there nice. tomorrow. Or no, not tomorrow, on Friday. And then uh, I don't know how well my mic can pick me up on a laptop, but... It's not all right. It's going to be like six hours of driving plus flight. That so sucks. It's going to be a long time. That's the commitment that you have to gaming, Sal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that that's going to be a pretty important land. But speaking of you know commitment to gaming, before we get to talking about that, we had a couple of uh, a couple of huge successes last weekend. If I if yeah. I do recall. That's, yeah, we well we had the tip of the hats charity event, which happened um, I guess Saturday and Sunday, so not really that long ago. And boy, Sean, I think well, Sean, but obviously was the uh, the guy behind who is the leader of all that, and the guys ended up raising. I'm up what thirty five thousand dollars total. Everything's added together. And that's yes, actually a uh, crazy raising, number. Yeah, I'm raising. Didn't track e check donations uh, until they go through, and we got oh. probably another hundred or so, hundred, two hundred maybe today. So you nice. just cracked thirty five thousand today. Nice. Well, ladies and so, gentlemen, the, the the kids with cancer are gonna be kind of happy about that one. I think so. I, I, I'm looking forward. I sent a couple emails out toward the people I know at One Step, and they were sort of like, what I, the response I got back was, well, first of all, they told me that, because we, we were talking on the stream, the hosts, like, every $2,000 you get sends a, kid to, uh, sends a kid to camp, which is the program, One Step, sends kid with cancer and leukemia to, to, to camp, summer camp. And we thought it was every $2,000, but it turns out it's $1,000. Oh. So double the... Double the success, I guess. I mean, it's still the same as success, but that's an even bigger number of like children. And I tweeted on my Twitter that uh, Shit Wizard, our our number one donator, donated enough money in his infinite power to actually send a kid himself to land, which is I think like pretty awesome. Yeah. I think there was another individual that did that, Pat CDR, who yeah. uh, we've contacted. Uh, we're kind of in the process of contacting the raffle winners, and 
Uh, we sent out a mass email to everyone that won in the unusual raffle, and I just traded uh, Pat his hats today. He uh, donated a thousand for two hundred entries and won eight hats. So, so what, paid what, off for him, I guess. But it was when you were entry. when you were reading off the winners, you just kind of like everybody won. Were there like they all the items that were like kind of equally valued and stuff, or like how did that work out? Did they win um, individual? Yeah, we kind of. I think we pretty much listed the items by like what their value was, and then we. Uh, we did a, a random number for each um, each each entrant in that raffle, and then uh, we went to that cell in the spreadsheet, and then that was the winner. And if you had you know 200 entries, you had pretty good chances of winning when there were 70 or so winners. Cool. Apparently, I said send kids to land, kids with cancer. You know what? Maybe they want to go there too. Summer Who land. Wouldn't. <laughs> Not all of us. Did you really say it? I guess I, that's. I mean, he everybody did. in chat said that. So yeah, sorry. He did. Okay, we're. I was gonna let it slide, but stream chat is a—it's—it's it's cruel. It's just wait, cruel. wait, I said something stupid on stream. <laughs> when does that wrap? I'm pretty sure I topped you this weekend, but we're not gonna. We're not gonna go there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say this in our defense: when you're like, because what we were when all the really stupid things were said, and there's like four or five of them. But like when that happened, it was like the worst possible thing to cast. It was like six v six with like one yeah. player that we knew of for each team, and we're sitting there like, what do we do? This is like negatively entertaining. <laughs> like, uh, uh, <laughs> that's when you get in trouble. That's when the Mr. Slin voice comes out when there's nothing to actually talk about. So, I'm not making excuses. Shouldn't be stupid. Stupid's bad. But uh, it was, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, we should. We should get into the, the, the upcoming LAN. LANs. Yes. There are two that are actually b both going to be decided sort of this weekend. Oh, right. right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, what is it? Saturday at 11 o'clock? Is that right? 11 o'clock? 12 o'clock? You guys know? Maybe a little earlier than that. A little yeah. earlier than 11? Oh, shit. Might I think it's so, like 9. Early. Nine? Oh, oh, that's, oh, I want to say oh 10. that's early. It's 10 or 10 or 10, 30 or 11 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that's going to be on the ESC8 Orange stream all day. And then um, three of you, KBK, well, sorry, there's three of you here. Um, KBK and Tag, you guys have been to LAN already, but Sean, you haven't. Mm -hmm. So um, let's start with you because you're the newcomer. What are you expecting going into LAN? I'm sure you're excited, um, but um, how have you been preparing, I guess? Um, like I said, uh, I, I met Z Brian last week when he came over and it, like we did a, a one night of scrims with, um, I set up my old desk next to this one and it was uh, pretty fun. Uh, just kind of get used to playing with someone next to you, you know, it's, uh, I did go to LAN, you know, several years ago, that was a little, really small Counter-Strike one, but, uh, never achieved 2-1. Um, I guess, uh, the other thing I've been doing is just switching out my, my chair. This one has two armrests on it, so I've been switching it for one that doesn't, so... Oh. Just to get used to not resting them when I'm how did, eating stuff. How did you get that idea? Because you told us about that before we went live. And I was like, that's a really good idea. Um, did um, I think say uh, that it's like Siegel actually um, said he, I, I kind of asked him, like, when I remember when he went to LAN, he was like, kind of, he had like a breakout performance, a really dominant performance. And I was asking him, you know, what's your advice for, um, for getting ready for this? And he said he took it to pretty extremes, I guess. He like, he was telling me he was moving his computer around the house and he'd, uh, like set it up at the table, the kitchen table and stuff, and like mm -hmm. uh, all all sorts of stuff to try and mix up your. You don't want to be like you know, so you can only aim when you're comfortable desk, home desk setting. So right. that was the gist of, you know, he said whatever helps to alleviate that. I guess that's true though. No armrests. So I mean, does everybody who goes to land get massive carpal tunnel and just go home like? Oh! <laughs> Probably so. I don't know. I've never been there, Seth. <laughs> Can't comment. Hey, there's a couple of guys who have. I'm just asking them. What? Um, who uses the famous? Is it YZ50 who has the keyboard in his lap? So maybe that helps him. There's a couple who gonna, do that. Yeah, yeah. I think YZ50 does. I'm thinking uh, where they got that from. Because there's someone who did that first, and then everyone kind of. I think it was Ben who did it first. Maybe he copied it. It's like a Russian Quake player thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think that's right. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't do that though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, people were wondering in chat when my phone was going to ring. I turned it on vibrate, and it just rang. Ha <laughs> ha. Jerks. Uh, okay, so KBK, you've got the marathon trip from the, because there's like no airport in North Dakota. Hilarious. Oh, there thing. is, but it's more expensive. Oh, yeah, it's like propeller planes. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so this is number two. They you guys are. They do. But not usually. Okay, yeah. No, go ahead. 
Let me, let me talk, <laughs> right? Shit. So you got, you're got uh, you going for land number two. Um, mm -hmm. forgot, you were with Mixup, right, the first time? Yeah, I played with Mixup with, like, Volansky and Moose, Enigma, Fire, Smacka. Okay. So you kind of know how the, what the deal's going to be. How, how have you been preparing for this one? Um, I don't know. I don't really do anything different because Medic doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of hard to mess up really bad on Medic. I mean, like, well, if you drop Ubers, that's bad. But, like, other than dropping Ubers, there's no way to really, like, screw your team over hardcore. Speaking right. as a very low-level Medic, that doesn't sound true to me. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I don't know. You know, you, you'll, you don't have to worry so much about your aim, right? So as long as yeah. you, you have the same mindset, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. That's, like, exactly it. Okay. Um, you don't what? really need to worry about staying in practice even on Medic. Is there, is there anything that makes Medic that much different on LAN? I've heard from some that it's everything happens much quicker, so you can't milk maybe as much because the damage is, like, you know, instantaneous. But then you can pop faster, too, I guess. So I don't know. Um, I never really noticed anything like that. I would say it's more of, like, a everyone's shouting that's not a TFT player. Like, you can hardly even <laughs> Like, I had to turn my volume and mumble up to, like, 400% while I was, like, breaking my eardrums so that I couldn't hear stuff outside of that. Are they that better than you. Like, is it that the Counter-Strike thing? It's just, like... Yeah. Really? Pretty much. It really is, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's the whole vibe of Counter-Strike, right? You know, a person dies, and he's not going to be in the rest of the round. You know, two or three people die, they're not in the rest of the round. So, basically, the only thing they do is just kind of stand up and yell at the other team when something happens. That's how Counter-Strike works. Okay, back when you guys, I don't, I, I don't know, I think last line there was still 1.6 in Source and then Go. Is there a degree of how loud each game is? Like, um, is there, like you look over and it's like, oh, those 1.6 kids, they're just so much louder. Or is it just... I'd say the whole... they're all about the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, mean, I, hope... I don't even know, like, what game people were playing. Like, I just know they were all playing some sort of kind of strike and they were all just being really loud. But do, don't some of the uh, TF2, does it Harblue scream and stuff? Isn't he like, yeah, oh, I got the medic. He doesn't talk trash that much. He, he screams. Mm -hmm. The only time I heard him talk trash was when Mackie was doing the same thing a couple seasons ago, and both of them were like standing up and yelling at each other. But you know, otherwise, I, I, you know, he doesn't trash talk. He just kind of yells, "Yeah." Yeah. <laughs> <That's> what, yeah. <laughs> okay, so your 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 suggestion is Sean, but is to bring like earplugs or something for to, like so minimize some of that noise. Yeah. Um, okay. Did you notice? Tag and, and KBK, since you guys have been, um, is there a difference in the setup and playing? Was it easy to replicate your in, at home settings, like sensitivity and like the feel? Because I've tried playing at like other people's houses before, maybe not just TF2, and it's just like, oh, this feels so weird. Like, oh, I don't like this at all. I feel like that would be hard to replicate. No? Yeah. Um, I don't know. As long as you like save your config and like use the same mouse. Like when I went, I would use one of Smacko's keyboards and that kind of hurt a little bit, but I don't know, it's still fine, it's just a keyboard really. And um, the sensitivity obviously doesn't change if you plug the same mouse in. And as long as you like make sure you know exactly every single like setting, like what your mouse sensitivity is on Windows, what it is in game, all that stuff, if you have Excel on, mm -hmm. you should be fine, I guess. Yeah. And, and you're like more or less required to bring your own mouse and keyboard, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Unless you're Shrugger, and then you just... Yeah, don't pull a Shrugger, please. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting that. I always, always trash him. Like, oh, yeah, it's such a bad land. Like, it's like, well, he didn't have his, didn't have yeah. his stuff, so... Uh, he didn't have his happens. keyboard or his mouse. Okay, so Tag, you guys go in as the favorite. Tag is the roamer for now H... Okay, actually, I want to ask this, because I think this happened between episodes, didn't it? When the hell did you guys get picked up by HRG? How'd that <laughs> come about? Uh... I think a week or two ago. Yeah, it was about, just like, did they approach yeah. you, or did was it Paul? Or? Yeah, it was all really Paul's doing. Mm -hmm. We really actually don't even know much of the details. Did you sign a contract? No. Oh, really? Okay. Well, not that I know of. Paul Syk forged your name. I know, right? It, that was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, that's cool. Are they, are they helping you guys get the land or anything, or is it just... Yep. Good for them. Oh, HRG's and we get... We get shirts and a uh, jersey. Ah. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, that's cool. Like and there's nothing that. better than those those like the the nerdy but awesome TF. Is it a jersey or just a t-shirt? Uh, Shade and I are only ones getting jerseys because we're the coolest. Uh -huh. Everybody else is getting shirts. They couldn't make one big enough for Paul. 
<laughs> is Paul's big? He's tall. Not He's imposing. Big. Yeah. What color? What color is it? Okay. Now I'm just imagining Paul in an HRD shirt with an exposed <laughs> belly button and. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like hot against his skin. Yeah. Trying to play and he can't. Yeah. What color are the uh, shirts in Jersey though? Are they black? <laughs> I assume they're black. Okay. You don't have. Yeah, we actually though. haven't seen them. You just seen like screenshots of them, and they were black. So. I've seen, yeah, I've seen HRG jerseys for like Counter Strike, I think, in the past, and they were black then. Yeah. And they I just nice... wanted my name on it, because only the jerseys have the names on it. There you go. I'm looking at it. Ooh, I hope you get this one with the. It's got like a crown over the R. Oh. It's yellow. That's pretty good. You look like a bumblebee. <laughs> 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 um, okay, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so. Um, all right, so yeah, you guys are the uh, the first place team. HRG is. You guys were undefeated all season long, um, uh, but people aren't expecting, or I think most people were predicting Mix Up to win. Is that kind of you guys kind of not maybe not upset about it, but is that kind of weird? I that forgot you had those on underneath that hat. <laughs> that's I'm talking that's, that's the trap. <laughs> it's so good. You have more than one pair of those too, don't you? As I've seen. I've seen more than one. Um, so you guys, are you guys um, getting wrapped up in predic predictions that maybe Mix Up is the better team at LAN, or no? Is it not bad? Um, I'm not the type of person to like make uh, like what is it predictions or anything? Because I mean anything can happen. But I th think it should be close games. I mean, they, there are going to be close games, but so you're not kind of predicting to have like a you know. You, obviously, you want this, but you're not predicting undefeated land, so you match Mix Up's record last season. No, nah, I really don't even care about okay. <laughs> records or anything ah, like that. Mm, okay. Yeah, but it would be cool to win. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys play Sean Bud's team first. So it's going to be you guys will kick off the land. It's going to be HRG versus uh, Fully Torqued. So how do you think that matchup's going to go? And yeah, you can you can talk. As much shit as you want, because it's it's fine. Um, what it's process is the first map, right? Is it really? God, I think. I I'm Maybe expecting a lot of. Yeah. I'm I'm expecting a lot of fast bombs. Everyone is. Mm -hmm. So, so Brian better better keep up with that. Uh, but. I think it'll be an 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 interesting game. We actually haven't seen, any of. We've only really been playing chess club, so. I think everything will be really new hmm. and different at LAN. So, okay. for everyone. So, is there anything that you're, I guess, I know you guys aren't going to give me anything here, but is there, is, is there anything in the matchup that you're worried about between Sean's team, between Floyd Torts? Player that sticks out that you need to shut down or something? Well, Siegel's really, really good. Is he? I don't know. Oh, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, he has, <laughs> well, he has good rockets. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've I've noticed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've I've noticed that that he hits anything he wants to, and he hits he hits everything all the time. So he's a, he's a monster on land too. Mm. Remember that last land he went to with um, Dummy's team? I forgot what they were called. He yeah. was like a, just a maniac, just killing everything. Yep. Oh. Be careful, tag. <laughs> so Sean, how about you? Uh, you guys are going in fourth, uh, playing the number one team. How does the matchup favor you guys? You think? Um, I don't know. It's going to be hard, hard as, um, I don't know. It's hard to predict, like, you know, how, uh, how, like, me and Zebrian, we've never, never been there before, but I'm sure, um, Zebrian's going to be a beast. Uh, I'm a little less confident, uh, just because Scout and, you know, first, first land and for me anyways. Uh, Brian, I, I mean, I, I guess we watched each other play. I don't see any reason to doubt each other. I'm, I'm confident in our, in our team. I think, uh, we can we can do uh, some pretty good things this land. Um, Z Bryant has never ever played on a 120 hertz monitor, so really, um, it's gonna be a nice upgrade for him. He'll be never be able to go now. back. But, but do yeah, they have no. 100? Do they have, have 120 hertz monitors in, down there? Yeah, yeah they do. Q's. So ben Q's, yep. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. That. I thought it was. Yeah, we're not even advertising for them. You know, like like we should get paid for promoting this on fully charged. Yes, there you Definitely. go. Definitely should. <laughs> ben Q, I, everybody. I, 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 I bet of the 300 or so people that are watching right now that, mm, like, I don't know, 200 have a 120 hertz monitor. Or the new 144 hertz monitor. I don't know. That's, I don't know. That's probably overkill. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> um, how about you? I, I, obviously, when you talk about you have to play against Banny's team, you say, well, what are you going to do about 
Fanny, is there, do you guys have a plan, or you just is your plan maybe to try to do something else with a, a HRG? I said LG, but HRG or what? Uh, not really. We're kind of like like uh, like Tag said, we haven't really played it much um, at all. I don't think uh, not for a few weeks at least. So we've been playing uh, mostly mix up and uh, like Mad Men when they were in the IM playoffs. We played them quite a bit. Um, we're not sure what to expect from HRG. Okay. I think Banny's going to do quite a bit of damage. She might want to expect well, that. Okay, yes, we'll be prepared for Banny to do damage. and we'll Try to plan uh, around that. That is probably yes. I'd say um, it's people safe. may die. It's a pretty safe bet. How, how has the, the preparation been for Fully Torqued? How often have you guys been scrimming? When did you maybe start scrimming? Because I've been gone for a while, so I don't, I don't know. We didn't really start till April. Um, and then we've been scrimming a lot more seriously the last few weeks, for sure. Um, I'd say, you know, three or four <laughs> nights a week at least for sure, and then taking them, taking them a little more seriously than we definitely had been. Okay, cool. How about uh, KBK? You guys, um, wait, okay, so is Clockwork going or not? No. No. Who is? Okay, I didn't know that. Omar is going. Omar is going. Okay. Is this, this, is a troll. this is a troll. Is he's yeah. going. Clockwork <laughs> is, will be there. Look at him. Look at him. He's, he's smirking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like if it's another troll, I think someone needs to do something about it in person. Maybe like we'll hire one of the Counter Strike kids to go like punch him. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, it. so Omar is seriously going? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so how'd that happen? Um, Clock just didn't really like want to compete, I guess. Like initially, when he just joined our team as a backup, and we just asked him to play for like one match when we were missing a player, and then our team had so many just like gaps like Weevil was always gone on Mondays, was was always gone on Wednesdays, and then we'd always be like missing someone 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 like randomly during the week. Right. And so Clock would basically play with us more than our starters would, so we just eventually just asked him to play with us. And he right. said he would, but then um we just kinda went downhill and got bad I guess. Really? And he was carrying us really hard but we were like still losing, so I don't know. Wow. So <laughs> it's not like you guys are too confident. I was gonna ask like, so you guys versus mix up. How do you feel about that? But um, okay, well, that's weird. I didn't know that. So um, I guess versus mix up. How do you guys think you match up? And I don't know. Is it the same maps for both? Is it process? Do we know the second map or is it loser it's chooses? Process and then the lower seed chooses the next map and then for the third game if it goes to a third game. The other seed picks the map. I thought it was just the loser of the first yeah, one that picks the second one. That's it's not the lower seed. Right. That makes sense. Okay, so mix up is like the reigning land champions of the world, and they've gotten a super scary, you know, YZ um, plus ruin scout combo. How uh, how do you think that's going to play out? Um, I think mix up's going to be our biggest challenge only because I'm not saying they're worse than HRG because what I personally believe is that we aren't very good against mix-up but we're pretty good against HRG in the fact that play styles like have a big factor because they're basically complete opposites where HRG is pretty like slow team and mix-up's like fast pushing and we're like really poor against pushing or like playing against mix-up so and we've scrimmed HRG so many times that like We've gotten accustomed and like learn their strats and stuff. So like, you're in their we head, feel more confident man. against them. We have strats. <laughs> well, like oh, you have their tendencies. <laughs> That's why you guys can't stream tags. Your elaborate strats. And my point six upload rate. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. That sucks. You have worse. You have worse internet right now than Lang. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't think you do. I think that's possible. But I have a six down and point six up. Lang connects on, you know, tin cans attached to a string, so... Right. He's, Lang, he's, uh... When Lang wants to go on the internet, he has, like, two hamsters on a wheel that just, like, start turning. And then, the, like, the internet slowly starts working, maybe. And then it just dies. That's not... We shouldn't joke about that. That's, like, a tragic thing that's happened. I miss, I miss the Lang stream mm -hmm. and the Lang camera. <laughs> yeah, dumb. they say tragedy plus <clears throat> distance or time, and I don't think either of those has elapsed quite enough yet to, to stop yeah. mourning Lang's stream. It's, it's, it's too soon. I'm not even kidding. Like... The Lang is is like the actual like he's the best so. Rip. Um, 
Yeah, it's too bad we don't get to go. Um, <laughs> one of the, the hamsters are named. Chad, and yeah. one of the hamsters has asthma. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. But Cheese, after him, said the hamsters are named Thrill and Sean Bud, which I liked. I'm pretty um, sure they, they grill and eat hamsters in Wisconsin, too, so. Yeah. So he's, he's, what? he's, he's, it's a double, double whammy, man. He's like slow internet and he's hungry. And one of his roommates is like, hey, I'm going to eat this. <laughs> okay. okay uh, are we, are we going to talk about TF2? So, no. <laughs> it, I mean, I guess everybody kind of envisions this at the moment. At least I envision it as probably being BP versus mix up in the grand finals. And things can change, of course. And I think fully torch may have a good shot there. HRG versus mix up in the finals. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I what I said before. Um, is is that how it's going to go down? Um, yeah, I think it's all just going to come down to how people play at land. Um, I think it can go like if fully torqued or us have like good lands, and then like HRG has a poor land. I don't think Mixup's going to have a poor land. They're always good. Like. They're like statistically never like bad at land, right. um, but obviously, HRG has players that have played poorly in the past, so they're like the biggest question mark of all, I guess. But I don't really expect them to play poorly. I guess I expect them to play pretty good, and uh, I expect it to be those two teams. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Sean Bud? I think it's a lot closer than some of the past lands, uh, especially yes. you know after last season. Um, I think Mixup is a is slightly weaker. Um, Enigma is obviously not as strong as Harb Blue um, on Romer and Harb. I think Ruins probably or uh, yeah, Harb's just uh, he he brought a lot uh, to the table on Romer, but Ruin and YZ is a scary scary scout combination. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how how that lineup I guess plays on land. And um, we see we know they've all been like experienced in the past, but we'll see how they. They play with the new roster. Uh, me and Z Brian, uh, I don't know how you know how our team is gonna mesh at LAN. Uh, could could be could be good, could be bad. Um, you know, I don't know. I think I think it's but like I said, it's a lot closer than in past seasons. And I think it yeah, like uh, what KBK said, if somebody if one of the teams has a good LAN, like every, pretty much everybody's kind of LAN proven. Uh, I think people kind of know what to expect from HRG. I'd expect solid performances from most of the players for sure. Uh, so there's definitely, you know, potential for uh, really good brackets. That's what we're all hoping for, I think, come this weekend. And that starts once again. That starts Friday or Saturday? Saturday. 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 I don't get to watch any of it. I was going to say, are you not going to be around for any of it? <clears throat> well, I guess the, the, the game's very late at night. Maybe if I'm not out partying, but I'll probably be out partying because it's the last weekend I ever have to be in class. 420. And it's that. <laughs> yes, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Although uh, the, the kids in class tend not to be the kid kind of kids who really want to go out and party like 420 style, whatever, you know? It'll, it'll just be a bar. Aren't you, like your ma- aren't you getting like your master's or something? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. those kids will probably go out and get high later. There's there's a couple of them. <laughs> we're talking about MBA, you know, in like a high-powered oil business district, so it's not that. God, fact, I really most hope... of our companies drug test regularly. Really? Yeah. I don't drug test. All right, um... We were talking earlier before we left, because Sal's like a straight-up oil baron. Yeah. Like, I really, I really want the oil baron TF2 class. Or, like, not class, but, like, the, the package. For like, I guess it would have to be engineer, you know? But I mean, Pretty much. What kind of hats would that be? Um, I don't Texas know. 10-gallon. Big old hat with, like, money signs rotating around it. And, like, mm-hmm. Sal just writes off checks and, like, throws them at people. And hits them <laughs> <bit>. <laughs> you want to go to Europe? Boom! There you go. Ah, got him. <laughs> well, I mean, gosh, now that I think about that, because a wrench works pretty well for that sort of thing. Um, not a wrench, I'm instead of instead of building a, a, you know, instead of building a century, just build a little oil rig that like spews oil out. I, who knows? Okay. Uh, so this, there's a lot more riding on this land though, because you said you know go to Europe, right? And I think everybody knows by now. But if you don't, um, whoever wins this land unless they fall apart as a team, is also going to end up going to I-49 in August. That's a pretty big deal. Well, I don't, know if it's, I, mean, I don't know if it's for sure. Let's see what the... There's a donation thing that's up right now. Um, yes. It's done very well from what I can tell based off of just the, the immediate TF2 community. I'm trying to find... Where the hell would it be? It's probably right here somewhere. Somebody linked it in chat. Well, I'm not on chat, so I'm looking. 
Okay, so clicking five thousand five hundred and fifty people uh, dollars donated. The goal is Which only is yeah ten eight. So yeah. Um, I'm yeah, not sure. Does that include the the price to send Lang? Because I know uh, Lang wants know. to go and produce it live. Lang on is already set for that, though. Yeah, I think I think he's got it set up. Um, and I know that that uh, there's a couple people working pretty hard right now to to get TFTV set up as the broadcasting organization there instead of Vanilla, um, especially because TFTV has the European contingent now, uh, and I, I full heartedly support that. I would yes. love to see TFTV there. Um, doing it up for the scene, but I'll be there uh, pretty much regardless. It's just a question of whether I'll be casting or not. You know, it depends on the organizations there. I think. I thought um, it was a little weird last season, um, or at I forty six, which is the first time it's when we sent both teams there. Mm -hmm. um, that we had like you and Xtine, and I think like maybe another caster from America. Or was it just uh, you two? And it's just us. And we never saw that. Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it was. It was. I mean, Vanilla obviously it's their event and stuff, but like in that situation. It'd be nice to get like a nice variety. You have so many casters. There are a lot of good European casters from both Vanilla and the the TFTV EU. So it'd be nice to get that meshing. Yeah. And I mean, if if they send, if you go, Sal, and you don't get the cast, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a hissy fit. So I'll just join a pug team or something. I don't know. <laughs> join like some you day win. three team and, <laughs> and beat tag. So yeah. I'll um, be so okay, are you guys excited for that kind of stipulation that it's going to be the winner of land is the the team that gets this this the honor I guess of being sent? Does that play into prep and stuff? Makes everything more um, high stakes, I guess. Do you get yeah. nervous at all? Or are you like, oh man, you gotta, gotta win? <laughs> I don't yeah. think any any. I don't think any more so than we would have. Okay. Um, yeah. I think people will just want to win the land first and then see what happens. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go to Europe, but I mean, I'm not gonna kill myself if I if we don't get to go. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> which, what, what, which, what, do we, what do we say now? <laughs> I don't know. That kind of ends the discussion. I'm not gonna kill myself <laughs> if I don't get to go. <laughs> that, that did escalate pretty fast, actually. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I would want to go too. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Book your ticket, man. Sal, you and me doing the. See, the thing is, like, how great the i46 like finals were just the quality of tf2 but then they also had the the casting with the, the kids set up like right next to the casters i don't think i could do that because i always put my foot in my mouth like many feet in my mouth so i would be like there's a spy and everyone would cure it like i'm like running over like look over like where's the spy and it's like oh i'm sorry oh no. um, yeah that'd be pretty cool so okay that's yeah it's cool so if you guys haven't donated yet live or on the vod and you want to uh you want to help TF2? I know we just donated a lot of money, hopefully, um, this weekend. But um, if you have a little extra left over, it's just um, not as good of a cause, but it's it's all right. It's a pretty good cause, I'd say. It is. And you um, okay, and so you let's do it. let's do predictions for this land. Um, I know everyone's going to want to say them, themselves, and that's fine if you want to. I'm not going to say whatever. Um, and then Sal, you and I can give ours if you want. Cause I don't think we have yet. Okay. But, okay. So final predictions, and you guys in chat, if you want to just write the four. Um, teams that you think in whatever order. Um, I'll, maybe I'll read some off if I, if I see fit. Well, let's start uh, with Mr. KBK, who I gotta say, KBK, you've got a nice um, smattering of, of people in chat thinking that you're you're quite the quite the good-looking young gamer. So I think you're might be the <laughs> new fan favorite. <laughs> there you go. Uh, um, so okay, so give me your give me your four top four places. Um, I think if HRG plays as well as they play online, they're gonna win. And the mix up's gonna get second. And then between us and Foley Tort, I think it's gonna be pretty close. Uh, I think it's all gonna come down to how like the newcomers play, like Sean and Z Brian. And then how our newcomers play, like Visitor and Alpha. So like I don't know. It's no. all gonna be about the newcomers, I think. Okay. At, like in every single position. Okay, so you have HRG winning with um, mix up second. Okay. We get that. Uh, Sean Bood, what's up? What's my prediction for the uh, five yeah, standings? Yeah, just the whatever. I'd say uh, mix up um, and then HRG, uh, us, chess club. Okay. Tag, I don't know what you're doing, but. Um, <laughs> if you can hear I'm just, me. I'm just what's growing up? out a beard real quick. His hat. He's got um, a. <laughs> um, is it my prediction? Yes, and this is going to yep. lend a lot of credence to your prediction with that beard. <sighs> okay, let's see. Um, 
I'd say just so that I don't kill myself, um, HRG, and uh, <laughs> there goes my beard. Uh, HRG, <laughs> uh, mix up. <clears throat> I'd say fully torqued and then chest club. But anything can happen, right? Anything. Anything can happen. A guy could put a fake beard and a pirate hat on on your show. Yeah. <laughs> And then, you That's, know... We expect that when Tag comes on fully charged. That was funny. It was like, it's like I think we're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, my mic is actually ruining this to a great extent, actually. Yeah. Um, all right, Sal, what do you think? Well, the, think the word of uh, Sal. Is, is the word of law. Uh, Sal's going to be like, like, say it's completely wrong. No. Yeah, well, I think Chess Club's taken like first. Um... <laughs> Like, that's the joke at KBK, and they're like, what an ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I'm going to be serious, I'm going to put HRG and mix up. I mean, that's really close. I'm going to put HRG and then mix up. And then I'm going to say probably fully torqued and then chess club. But this is, this is, like I said, this is the closest land I've seen in my, like, year or two of casting, I think. I think it's the second closest that I've seen. The one where... Um, the last one that Tyrone's team won, where they played mix-up with the fourth seed, I guess this would be three lands ago, because that was the, the Shrugger land, right, where he mm -hmm. didn't do well on the Mahali's flow team. I think that was the closest. Maybe not going into it, but it ended up being closest. But going into it, I agree. Um, I don't want to, like, say Omar sucks or whatever, because I don't, I mean, I, the guy's really good, he's a really good player, but not having Clockwork go for Chess Club, obviously, I'm sure you guys are kind of a little bummed out about it, too. It kind of sucks, because... You know, he could just destroy a game or two at land, and like that would yeah. really. Um, it's I don't know. I I, I I would be I would be shocked if we don't say <clears throat> HRG versus uh, mix up at some point in the finals. I'm gonna say that. Um, I mean, just I don't know. Just for the sake of argument, let's go with HRG winning because they looked really good. Sal, I don't know if you saw the very last thing that we streamed for Tip of the Hats, but it was actually a scrim show match type deal between. Yeah. Um, them and mix up. We didn't have a full mix up, um, but still, like HRG looked really good. Um, it's true. Mix up has some capable ringers too. They did had some pretty good ringers. That's right, they did. Um, I, I actually barely remember that. It seemed like you guys were trying pretty hard though. We tapped in, like we tapped into the comms during the game because you guys were in our mumble. And it seemed like everybody was trying pretty hard, which made it like it, it seemed really cool. I know I got into it just casting. Like it seemed something worth, you know. Attention to. Yeah, like I, w I wish I could give some details on this, but I can't. You're like, ah, we just beat him. It's fine. There's, uh... um, I know. I just haven't been fully committed to a lot of things recently. Ah. Fully yeah. You are fully committed to those hats, though. That makes oh, me happy. It's been such a long time. <laughs> so do you do you have like a big, just big old thing of hats, like a big box of hats, like right off camera that you're just like pulling hats out of? No, no, of course not. Where's the Pika the Pikachu hat that you said you, you you couldn't fit around your hair? It's yeah, I have too much hair for this one, and I need to. This, this is gonna look really dumb, actually. Yeah, the other ones though, they looked they looked completely yeah. normal. Um, I, I saw lame effects in chat. He asked if anyone has any questions. Do you guys have any questions that you want to ask the the four or the three, or if you want you know to ask Sal? Yeah, I'm I'm one of the four. I am an invite TF. Why well, I'm doing that? I'm the greatest. Um, we, we can ask some there. Um, like, Sal, is there anything else that you want to ask these guys before we go to giveaway stuff? Uh, who's going to be LAN MVP? There you go. Can't say Ooh. Banny. How about that? Other than Banny. Oh, right? that's oh, a hard question. <laughs> um, I hadn't even yeah. thought about that actually. KBK, who do you think is going to be the MVP? Who's going to be? I think it's going to be YZ. YZ. Sean. Um, I don't know. I remember Tag had a few really good moments uh, last at last season's LAN, and I think he's with a little better roster now. So good luck, Tag. I put a lot of pressure on you, I guess. But uh, okay. um, who else? Uh, yeah, YZ Ruin is going to be a pretty scary LAN combo. Beast, yes. Okay. Uh, Tag, uh, MVPs, man. I mean, Ruin YZ is going to be ridiculous. Um... In terms of like individual like really crazy wacky stuff, <laughs> probably Seagull. Yeah, okay. that that yeah. could be that could be a good yeah. one. I probably yeah. Um, I don't know if I can even say this. Like, <laughs> I was just message 
that um, in last night's scrim, YZ50 attempted to back cap the wrong last point. <laughs> 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 so, I don't know if that means he was, uh, you awesome. know. <laughs> How do you do that? How, so, you're, hmm. I mean, I guess, what map was yeah. it? Like, I'm trying to think even the Warm map. Friend? Metal Works, maybe? Because, like, I've done that a few times. I mean, Gully Wash? Gully wash you can get turned around on gully, maybe. And you're know. like, where am I? Right like now? on the mid, yeah. Maybe you went to the the wrong way at mid. I don't know. <laughs> God, I really hope that happens. Um, I'm reading chat, actually. I maybe shrug. Uh, I think Shrugger could could do an MVP thing mm. as well. No, I'm not saying that because he's on my team. I played against oh, Shrugger. And oh, it's, okay. the most, yeah. it's the most a terrible thing playing against Shrugger because <laughs> he it's, he doesn't even know where he's moving half the time, and then he'll just like shoot you out of his ass, and it's just. Frustrating. So I mean, if he can, if he actually brings the stuff, this cross. Somebody please source filmmaker a scout shooting a demo man out of his ass. I want to see this now. It would have to be Brazilian power because his model gets all messed up when yeah. he's jumping around the lag. It's like I'm just scatter gun on my ear. Uh, dead. Uh, okay, so they said his process. I got messaged by like 25 people, and indeed he was high. Why is he 50 high? I don't. I you got the wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had something to come up, but I lost it. So okay. Um, so oh yeah, no, I was an ass tag. Um, so we given a lot of crap to Shrugger. He's probably gotten more crap for that land than anyone other than Tyler has ever gotten for a, a TF2 thing that's happened at land. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it? Uh, have you talked to him about all about it? Has he said anything? Like he he's ready to go like wreck some nerds at land and like kind of rebuild his. Um, I I mean, I don't think, Shrugger's not the type of person that'll say that, you know, he's going to destroy someone, but I, I feel like he's confident and he has learned from his past mistakes, which are very easy to fix, of course. Like, like he's going to your... tie his mouth on his neck. Bring yeah. stuff. Past <laughs> mistakes fixed. Yeah. Bring, your, bring your gaming gear if you're going to a gaming event. I feel like he's he's a, he's a lot more comfortable than he was in the past with everything, so I think he'll... It'll do fine. Okay. All right. Well, um, anything else, boys? Anything? Well, I'm gonna let them do some shout-outs, and then we'll give out hats. And I'm gonna give out a pizza too. So you guys want to stay tuned if you want to win a freaking Papa pizza. John's. Papa John's, if you want it. I'll, I, any of the big three work, because I get the e pizza card, and then I just whack, flip it across the internet at you, and you catch it. Um, so Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, whatever. Uh, does that sound good, Sal? Do you have anything else you want to say? Or? I do not. I am. I am a blank template. Uh, all right, let's start with KBK. Uh, shout outs for you. Um, uh, everyone that donated to our land fund, my teammates, and the Vector Gaming, and um, Sigma, Grimo, Defiance, Maniac, OTL, Sweater, Lansky, Tony Swan. Tony Swan, wait, what? <laughs> he still exists. Okay, you're done, Tony Swan. <laughs> See, Bear, I'm right behind you. See, Tony Swan, it's like Voldemort. You can't say his name. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead now. Um, okay, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you. Anyone else? Sorry. That's, that's one. No? Okay, uh, Sean Bud. I'm, I'm sure um, going to shout out Tony Swan. Yes, shout out to Tony Swan uh, first. <laughs> Um, no, uh, thanks to everybody who helped out with the charity event, and thanks. Uh, shout out to my team. See you guys this weekend. Um, Tag. Shout out to uh, my team, um, specifically for dealing with me this past week. Um, who else? Disengage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of work. Um, yes. Disengage, even though he's been ignoring me for the past two weeks. Alpha wanted a thumbs up. I'm not going to give him a thumbs up, but I'll give him a shout out. And um, let's give him a thumbs up. And uh, how about everyone that donated to our um, to our donation thingy? Donation I can't do English idea. actually. Yeah, uh, it's all good. It's all good. Um, and you didn't shout out Tony Swan, but I'm going to go when safe. this is over. Um, when this is over, I'm going to go shout out Tony Swan's name in the mirror three times and have some fun <laughs> with that. Um, You're dead then. I know, 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, me and Sea Bear are done with fully charged the talkie portion. We're going to do the giveaway portion right after the break here. But of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, you don't get anything given away to you. So uh, maybe watch us live next time. Clear yep. your schedules. And I'm make sure you guys tune in this weekend. This should be uploaded like right after we're yeah. done. So if you're watching the VOD right away this weekend, tell your friends, post about it. We want big numbers like always. This is like the biannual event that's really important. So <laughs> post it, tweet it, twat it, everything. We want um, thousands of people. Flip it, stick it, and bop it. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll, uh, we'll see you later.